Atlantic bluefin tuna is one of the most amazing fish, in fact, one of the most amazing animals in the world. It's one of the very biggest fish in the ocean. It's one of the very fastest creatures in the world. And it's a warm-blooded fish, which makes it really unusual. It's also hard to catch, very exciting to catch, and very delicious to eat. It would be a horrible thing to lose it. Bluefin tuna have been more abundant in recent years in Canadian waters uh, than they were before. And it's interesting to note that historically, this has happened with bluefin tuna in many places. Uh, there have been very large fisheries of Norway in the 1950s, and they have disappeared since. So the fact that there are high abundances uh, right now uh, in Canada has to be counterbalanced by the thought that the abundances are probably lower elsewhere when you consider the population as a whole. It may be that most of the remaining fish are kind of pushed into Canadian waters right now, possibly because of the temperature of the water, possibly because of where the food is. But you need to keep the big picture in mind because if you have all of them or most of them and you fish them very hard, then you're going to have none of them. So SARA, or Species at Risk Act, is Canada's main legislation at the federal level that is, exists to protect wildlife in Canada. There were two main factors that led the uh, subcommittee to uh, decide that bluefin tuna in the Western Atlantic merit um, status of endangered. The first issue was the fact that the species has an, undergone a tremendous decrease in abundance. This occurred, this great decline in abundance occurred in, in the 1970s and uh, there has been no recovery since then. And that's just really the second point, that um, more than three decades of fishery management have not led to a substantial recovery um, of the population. The effort of Canada to increase the quota and the simultaneous SARA listing is one of those true mysteries um, because it's this exact same department that is running the public consultation on species at risk and, and the SARA listing process and tuna being endangered and getting stakeholder input, the same department, the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, is also at international meetings requesting an increase in quota. So it, it really doesn't make any sense. I'd say we'd learn, we should have learned our lesson from the cod collapse and the failure to heed scientific advice. At the upcoming ICAT meeting in South Africa in November, I would say a lot of eyes, um, Canadian eyes in particular, will be on the managers and the decision makers at that meeting to do the right thing for bluefin tuna, to follow scientific advice, to, to make decisions based on precaution and an ecosystem approach, and to do that in a, in a very responsible, accountable, transparent manner. Uh, we really need to take the politics out of tuna management. We need to take into consideration the fact that we're responsible for managing species for the generations to come.